Now the extension ahead of uh, the main opposition party, People's Democratic Party's National Executive Committee meeting, which is scheduled to hold on April 18, as the warring political camps of former Vice President Atiku Abubakar and the Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Nisong Wiki, come head to head. Now the source of conflict is the fallout of the party's 2023 presidential primaries and the selection of the party's vice presidential candidate, uh, which favored Atiku and left Wiki stranded, making the former River State governor agreeing to work for the victory of the All Progressives Congress against his own party. Now the latest wave of tension ever stems from the growing suspicion that Wiki wants to remain in PDP but with a plan to hijack the party structure and weaken it to pave easy victory for President Bola Tinubu's re-election and that of the All Progressives Congress in 2027. While Atiku still insists on contesting for the PDP's presidential ticket. As the PDP holds its next meeting, that of the BOT and other organs of the party, the issue of Wiki's continued membership is likely to top the agenda with his critics in Atiku's camp calling for suspension since he had refused to willingly resign from the party, having been in the governing APC and its government without the consent of the PDP. Now, the latest wave of tension, however, stems from the growing suspicion that Wiki wants to remain in the PDP and weaken the structure of the APC and, uh, sorry, uh, the PDP. And of course, this continues to lead to a lot of problems uh, for both camps within the PDP. And of course, as the uh, PDP holds its next meeting, the issue of Wiki's continued membership is likely to continue to dominate all the issues that will be uh, at the party's uh, next meeting. And of course, this is now a major source of contention. But Wiki, however, still wields some measure of influence within the NEC and other decision-making organs of the PDP, which seem to have made it difficult for him to be so easily dismissed from the party. Well, to help us understand the issues at stake ahead of the PDP NEC meeting, we have joining us in the studio, a political strategist and policy advisor, Dr. Kacho Nonoju. And also joining us in the studio is a legal practitioner and public affairs analyst, Kalu Kalu. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for joining us. Thank you for having me. Yeah, so, uh, I mean, lots of issues ahead of uh, the party. But let's uh, start, uh, uh, Dr. Kacho Nunuju. What, what do you make of the PDP uh, prior to this next meeting, the BOT meeting, of course, the National Caucus meeting that will be holding uh, this week? Uh, can we say that the party under Umar Damagum has enjoyed uh, uh, stronger organs within it? Because the criticism by about 60 federal lawmakers uh, in the House of Reps is that uh, the organs of the PDP PDP have not been functioning properly. That is true. The party uh, shot itself in the foot. Uh, the crisis of the party came from uh, Atiku Abubakar's insistence he will run when we refuse to allow the instrument of inclusion, also called zoning, to take place. Atiku, who himself formed the NPDP, used that to build a national coalition to bring in Buhari into the presidency. He then told us that it was a turn of the note. So if the note had done eight years, it was fine for them to allow the presidency clock to now go to the south. When they refused, that's where this crisis came. That when someone like me, Doi no Kukwe, we now started the youth movement and were able to get a presidential candidate in Peter Obi. Of course. But outside the PDP? Yes, we did exactly what people like Atiku, Babangida Liu, and Sulu Namido did in 2013, 2014, 2015. They did anti party. So we did anti party. But I did anti party in support of Peter Obi's candidacy. And VK did anti-party in support of uh, President Buhari's candidacy. I mean, uh, uh, Tinubu, yeah. President Tinubu's candidacy. Now, why did the anti-party come? Because the members of the party from the north refused to respect that instrument of inclusion, also known as zoning. And that's why the party has been down. So, 
I really do not see Wiki's issue as anything serious. What that, that tells you is how weak the organs of the party have become. And uh, if the PDP wants peace, it should allow for that zoning to occur to the east. All right. So, and I bring you in, Kalu. The major focus, actually, is the organs of the party. The criticism, uh, including by federal lawmakers, is that the PDP has not been functioning well uh, because the organs of the party, from the BOT to the National Working Committee, NEC, have all been in disarray. How do you react to all of this? Uh, well, uh, everybody is entitled to his uh, or her own opinion. But uh, looking at the structure of PDP as of today, PDP is a very stable opposition political party. Don't forget that just a few months ago, less than a year, the party lost a presidential election. And normally, when you lose an election, there's what we call post-election trauma. The party passed through post-election trauma. But despite the loss at the election, the party has managed to keep its structures together. They've provided credible opposition to the ruling APC. You see what happened in well, Edo? Well, I mean, if you say they've prov provided credible opposition, uh, some of the House of Rep members in the PDP say that, that hasn't been the case. And they accuse the acting national chairman, Umar Damagum, of being quiet on several issues. And uh, he's not been acting very well. And that's why they are calling no, for his no, no, resignation. No, no, no. It's, 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 I mean, you know, uh, you know they, are, they, are, they are lawmakers you know, you know, and they are members of the party you know, and they the, know the, how it operates. The, the, uh, the, issue, the issue of opposition is not when you become uh, antagonistic to the ruling party is all about wit. What alternatives are you bringing to the table? You talked about the structure of the party. Let's look at the activities of the party in the last one year after the presidential election. The main one is the Edo primary election. After the Edo primary election, everybody queued in and supported the, the governorship candidate of PDP in Edo State. The, 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 the primary was conducted transparently and everybody was happy. Two, the PDP has been opposing some bad policies of the ruling party. As of today, even just a few days ago, the leader of uh, uh, the, the opposition, which is Atiku Abubakar, has exposed the, uh, uh, the Tinubu administration on the Lagos Calabar Costa uh, 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 road project and is a burning issue in Nigeria today. That is providing credible opposition. Yeah, but that it's wasn't not, done by the party. It's been done by I mean, Atiku Abubakar. No, 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 We're no, no, talking no. of the party here, no, no, the, 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 the party itself. The, the, party, the criticism it is, is the that the leadership, the, the National Working Committee of the party has gone to sleep. No, no, it's not true. When I said the party, you know, the party, the people populate the party. The party doesn't function alone. Mm -hmm. I just gave you an instance on a major activity of the party, the conduct of the, the primary election. Yeah, but they lost Kogi election, for no, example. No, no, no. no. The, 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 the Kogi election. Yeah. You, know, you know, the Kogi election just came a few months. Yes, they won, Bielsa, yes, they won in Bayelsa. One thing about politics is, 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 is you win, you lose some. You lose some, you win some. But as per the party, Damagun, as far as I'm concerned, has provided enough leadership in the party. There is no crisis in the party. Just right. like my friend uh, 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 alluded to the Labour Party. There is so much crisis in the Labour Party. The Labour Party should even learn from the PDP on how to run opposition uh, 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 well, uh, if, if you say politics. there's no crisis, I want you to react to that because the PDP hasn't held neck meeting for close to a year now, which has made lots of people to, I mean, be screaming. There was even an individual, Sheikh Musho, who went to court and all of that, saying that, look, uh, the PDP seems to have been hijacked. It has an acting uh, national chairman since the issue of uh, the suspension of Yocha Ayu by the court and all of that. Everything's just been lying low. And that Umar Damagun is not outspoken the way an opposition party should be. So, how do you First, Damagun should give way to somebody from the North Central to complete Ayocha Ayu's term. That's one. Two, 
I agree with you. Damago has been hijacked. That's why the members of National Assembly are crying. The PDP is like a headless chicken right now. Well, if you call it captured, yes, it's not proper. The right thing, do the right things first. Let Damago stay aside. Let somebody from the North Central take over to complete the term of Mr. Ayochayu, who stepped aside. And then we can now sit down to do a post-election post-mortem. Look at what it is that caused our party to derail in the last election. And I tell you, it is the non-agreement of our members from the North to respect that instrument of inclusion called zoning. It was when they left that we now left to start the youth movement, which you call obedient movement. Whether you like it or not, the PDP today is like a headless chicken. And I have alluded to that before. So whoever cares for the party should ask for a postmortem. I've heard somebody saying the postmortem will only uh, punish those who did anti-party in yeah, 2015. Because, I mean, those calls have been there. Yes, they, 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 they the calls, calls have the, been the there. The failure is that they said Umar Damagun has refused to punish those yes. who did anti-party. Do you know what? Because against the because people. when people like Babangida Aliu, Sule Lamido, and the other people did anti-party in 2015. Nothing happened. So when they did anti-party and supported Buhari's presidency, betting, are you going to push in, punish Kacho Nonuju for also, don't forget, doing the same thing. Don't forget what we run is a representative democracy. I had the courage. I had the clout to say I'm going out to represent the emotional interest of the people from where I come. And that was why I got on the street and I started doing that youth movement. Nobody gave us a chance. They said it's seven, eight months. We continued. At the beginning, Peter Obey himself, to be honest, came to beg me to please stop that we should just, I told him no. If you do not have the clout to get angry and do something, I will. All right. And it was very good that later on, it was the same Peter Obi that we managed to blackmail who now turned around and became the candidate. Why am I telling you this? My dear, dear friend may be floating. Democracy is representative democracy. I represent the emotions of the place I come from. So if I think my people are being cheated when it is torn for us to score and then they want to change the goalposts, I will do what I did. So just like Adiku did in 2015, he said, no, the North is being cheated. And that was why you saw Flo Lamido Babangida Liu, Atikuanko, did that thing, anti-party, which they called yeah, but zoning to the a, north. There was a report in 2019 that studied why PDP lost 2019 yes. and all of that. And I thought that there was a process of healing which should have culminated in a unity in 2023. Well, what happened was that most of our members from the north believe that Buhari's subjugation of the order part of the country was so successful that we would not talk. They didn't know we would get angry. They didn't know we would do what we did. And when I got out, I was here and I told you, I said specifically on television that for the sake of national security, that I do not think a Nokana will be able to stop the current security crisis across the Sahel. And it is true. So even though people ask me, eh, Kachibeta, Tinibu had won. But I will tell you that, just remember the last day I came here, you were asking me, why wouldn't I criticize Tinibu? No. If the people asking me to come and work with them now to fight Tinibu are the same people that refuse to allow me inclusion, why should I go and join them to fight Tinibu? When they ask me to also come, let us now do Maja. We said no. Why right. will I merge with you when you've not looked at the fundamental reasons why okay. we got angry and started the youth movement? Listen, that's why I'm saying if we must do that postmortem, ask yourself why did the PDP crumble in 2023? All so right, we Kachi. have to do that first before we move forward. Yeah, interesting submission here. So the next meeting that is going to be held in Kalu is going to be a meeting that will also focus not just on disciplinary issues but the need for postmortem on why uh, the PDP got so close. 
uh, to uh, victory. Uh, yet uh, it looks like uh, it lost. It lost out. Uh, talk to us about some of the issues that are likely to crop up during that next meeting because uh, the running of the party is at the heart of it. The postmortem is at the heart of it. The issue of anti-party. I mean, you would have heard different groups from north and south doing anti-party. I mean, shouldn't it be that the leaders of the party will sit down and refocus on way to move the party forward? And so, uh, before I, I answer your question, let me uh, uh, correct an impression which my brother has just uh, uh, made. It is very, very wrong of him to accuse Atik Abubakar and the Northern Element in PDP as the group that frustrated the party's decision to zone the presidency of the presidential ticket of the PDP to the South. It's very wrong. It was very clear before the primary election that Atiku Abubakar came out openly and canvassed for the presidential ticket of the PDP to be zoned, micro-zoned to the Southeast. Micro zone to the south is not just to be zoned to the south. If we are talking about equity in respect of the presidential ticket of the yeah, I think he once said that that if it's micro zone to the south, it was going to be yes, not true. I, 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 didn't I mean, mean I, 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 I will help you. When I think those things were stories on the social media. Just hold on. Let him. Let him. When we were talking, I didn't. I didn't go ahead. I didn't go ahead. He said it, and if you Google it, it's it's everywhere. And what happened? As at that time, Atiku wasn't even in charge of the party. As at that time, it was Wiki and his men, Wiki from the south, that was in charge of the party. Of no, the when you say in charge, in terms of financing the party. Not really financing, as, in, oh. in, as, in, as they were in control of the structure of the party. Okay. That's what I mean. They were in charge of the structure of the party. And who was the chairman of the zoning committee at that point? It was uh, the governor, uh, the former governor of uh, Benue State. Uh, 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 that is uh, um, Gabriel Siswan. Not Gabriel Siswan. The, the immediate past. Um, uh, uh, Samuel Otom. Samuel Otom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was the chairman of the uh, uh, of the zoning, zoning committee, and who was Samuel Otom to 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 uh, 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 Nelson Wiki? Close pal, close ally. Wiki influenced. The the, 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 the the committee, the zoning committee, when Atiku Abubakar had pushed for the micro zoning of the, of the, of, of, of the ticket to the southeast. They, because Wike couldn't get his way, Wike now influenced the committee to throw the ticket open. That's what happened. And uh -huh. as at that point, when the ticket was not thrown open to everybody, we will now say a man that, that had the constitutional uh, uh, rights to contest election, will not contest election. Definitely, he will contest. All right. Now, uh, do we foresee Umar Damagun surviving this? Because I mean, they are they both comes uh, actually in for for a me very hot for meeting. Me, for, uh, me, uh, uh, for me, Thursday. for me, for me, I'm a member of PDP. Yes, I'm a lawyer. But what do you foresee? Because there are calls for Umar Damagun to step aside. Or yes, but removed. for me, what I will advise PDP, mm. what I will advise PDP at this period, is to consolidate on the stability the party is enjoying at the moment. Not issue of to remove and to bring in any person inside the NWC. Okay. That's my view on this. All right, Dr. Kachab, do you foresee Umar Damagun surviving? I mean, all of this. Uh, and uh, uh, Well, before I say that, let me reply what he said. Oh, okay. Atiku Abubakar never said zone or micro zone to the east. No, those things were things that were flying in the social media. Then we now sent somebody from a major print to go talk to him. He withdrew. So leave those issues. I'm a politician. Mm. <laughs> you, you may not understand. So it. You All mean, they did it to a, do, a kite of course, you're just a flight from people we are throwing the social media. And we now purposely sent somebody from the mainstream media to go to let Atiku talk. <laughs> Who is the person? <laughs> say it. So so it's not, it's not what, it's not what right. they When things are flown in the social media, let me. Let everybody When things are flown in the social media, don't forget, I am 
a propagator. This I do this, and I understand how it is. When those people came, we told them the right thing to do. The Northerners should concede to the East. When they go to vote, they can massively vote to the East. It's as simple as that. No governor can stop that. Once a zone says it is going to the Southeast, they come to the voting area, they will all vote to the Southeast. Simple. Well, That's how that, it all works. All that happened in the past have Good. already happened. So, for Ahead us, of the next meeting, do you foresee Uma Damagun still retaining his position? You had previously the said that The next meeting actually... is not the issue. Let me tell uh, you where okay. the next meeting okay. is. The reasons why you see members of National Assembly complain is because they think the Magu is in somebody's pocket. And that's just what it is. So yeah, and, and the, the, the allegation is that he's in uh, Nathan yeah, Wiki's pocket. Do you know why? The PDP is not in power. So whoever has money can instrument outcomes. And that's what it is. They, you know, Nigerians say he who pays the piper does what? Dictates the tune. So if leaders of the party are not willing to spend, anybody who desperately spends will buy the loyalty of anybody who is economically challenged. Yeah, but now, I, I want to also pick you, uh, your brain I on cannot, this. Uh, I cannot. Do, do you think yes. that Nyeson Wike is still fully a member of the National, uh, of, uh, of, of the People's Democratic Party and that he's going to be in attendance at the next meeting? And if he does, could the issues of, uh, you know, his anti-party be discussed right there and all of that? Well, you know, I did anti-party the same way uh, uh, Babangeda and you and Sule Ramid did anti party. They are talking about now, talking about us who did anti party because I proudly did obedient movement and I'm very happy for what I achieved with it. If you now want to punish people for anti party, we will want you to start from 2015. Not target us from the South who did anti party in following what the Northerners did in 2015. This is what I'm saying. Yeah, but do you Good. still believe that PD, um, Wike is actually still a member of the PDP? Because he's Has he PDP resigned? For Has he been sacked? And uh, there are talks that, I mean, the PDP didn't give him any, uh, uh, what's it called, provide any legal... I can tell you for sure. For him to actually go I am a member of the... PDP federal government. I am till tomorrow a member of the PDP. If Wike who, like me, did anti-party, still a, not a member, but then you won't say I am. So all of us who did anti-party are still members of the PDP. And, and you think he will attend the next meeting on Thursday? If he wants to attend, if he, the president has given him some assignment to do, and that assignment would uh, uh, not stop him from going, I don't see why he shouldn't attend. Mm -hmm. For me, I, I'm not a fan of Inyesa on Wike, because you know I'm against Wike because Wike leaked Peter out of River State. Alleged, and those are the things that, well, you can allegedly. call it allegedly, but me who <laughs> feels the pain, I will say it. So the fact that I did my own anti-party to benefit Peter, he did his own anti-party to benefit, uh, uh, what's his name, uh, uh, Tinibu, I do not have the moral strength to also call Port Black because me and Keto uh, are uh, all right, black. so you're admitting on national TV that, I mean, some of you actually tried to weaken the PDP. Did I lie to you? <laughs> Oh, we had right, a reason for doing it. All right, because it, when it got to our turn to score goal, PDP shifted the net. Oh, and that's all right. why we did so, what we did. I mean, you know, elders you know, of the party you know, are calling you know, for at healing. At the moment, at the moment, yes. at the moment PDP, uh, yes, they lost the election. The PDP still remains the strongest political party in Africa. Well. PDP is. I, I, I am that is subject to no, 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 actually no, 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 review. Is it as strong as the as the, I, I, as the Senegalese party I, I, that just I, won I, election? I, I am. I am telling you that PDP is highly entrenched. My brother, let me tell you. PDP. Since twenty twenty three, after the twenty twenty three presidential election, you've not had any single crisis in PDP. Well, have you seen the number of uh, former lawmakers or even seven lawmakers that are leaving the PDP to the APC? Yeah, just I told mean, me. Uh, I don't 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 for don't example, don't uh, don't Senator Chukuka Otazi and all of that. The man told you. Hold on, hold on. So why would that you take you leave, his words? No, no, no. no. <laughs> that, you leave, <laughs> that you leave a party. Yeah. That you leave a that you defect leave, from that, it. That, 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 you, that, you, uh, that you defect from one political party to the other does not mean that the party you left is a weak party. No, Does but the party that? is losing grounds in other places. <coughs> okay, in, in Enugu states, some members of Labour Party moved to PDP. I'm talking of very strong members here. Uh, we, we, and some of them are already saying that, look, going ahead into 2027, 20, we are already foreseeing Atiku Abubakar wanting to get the PDP ticket, presidential ticket again. And we're against such. 
shouldn't it be time See, enough I, for Atiku to stay away from the I think so. Let, 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 it is time no, for Atiku. Hold on, hold on, let, hold on, let's, hold on, let's hold on, allow hold him on, say one of the, the in, 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 in politics, politics is not for the uh, feeble minded. Politics is for the people who have the strength. In Nigeria, they say who have the war chest. Some people, they say who have the structure, who have the network across the board. Nigeria is a very large yeah, but, but must, it, hold must on. it always be a hold on. Hold on. Hold on. If you feel, That's how he hold on. If you feel that between now and 2026, when the next, when the next uh, primary election we hold, Doc is eminently qualified to run against Atiku Abubakar. If he feels that he has the structure to beat Atiku Abubakar, why not you, Soma? You are eminently qualified to run in PDP. If you beat Atiku Abubakar. He will, he, will, he will support you. So there are, there are eminent Nigerians, governors, I mean, uh, 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 serving governors, serving senators, House of Reps, and all that, even former governors, who are still members of the, of, of the PDP. All right. If they have the strength to run in PDP, why not? The, 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 the constitution so is there. There should be no uh, right of first refusal for At all. Okay. At all. Okay, so let's no, All I'm only saying, <laughs> all I'm only saying, of in view, yeah. so, so sorry, sir, in view of the forthcoming next meeting, meeting yeah. of the party, let them, if, I have to advise them, let them consolidate the stability within the rank and file of PDP. What well, the talks is that uh, Wiki has uh, hijacked uh, the <laughs> NWC. Of, Whether you of, like it or not. The PDP. But I just want you to address that issue. I mean, must it always be about Atik Abubakar Abu has now become an illness. He's now a minus. It is I, time for. An illness, I mean. Listen to me. <laughs> it is time for Atik Abubakar to do for us what we did for him and the Northerners in 2019. Step aside. If Atiku Abubakar... It's not just stepping aside. Step aside for who? Because that's what Atiku keeps saying. I hear mean, me now. Who else is strong enough to contend so with you, a seven You can see Latin very well Obi. that in the last election, Peter defeated all of them. Uh, but Peter Obi is not a member of the PDP. Oh, are you don't. saying... Are, are you trying what to say that are, you are bringing just, back Peter what Obi What I'm to trying to PDP? tell you is for the PDP to resurrect from its current limbo, never mind the rhetorics my friend uses to situate what doesn't exist. I'm a member of PDP. You say you're not a member. <laughs> Allow me to tell you how the team pains me. That's right. why I'm here. I quickly as you try to I did anti-party simply because my party was hijacked through by people who had inordinate ambitions. What made me and we can, let me tell say it now on television. When Doug Bessie and others like our people were saying that nobody from the north would vote for anybody from the southeast. We can say if it's so, let us deny who we are. That was when you started hearing those heritage denial. Now, Wike is our query, like I am also our query. I can't deny who I am. I'm Igbo to the core. And I thought it is my turn for the presidency. If the PDP wants peace, they should walk towards zoning that presidency that they did in zone that caused the destabilizing to the southeast. Never mind my friend who is here to converse. He's not a mistake, he's not a member of my party. Yeah, but very quickly. Allow yeah, me I, a member I, of the party I, to tell you I, how I, to and, save and, my and party. Catch. That's what I the said. The way to save my party is do the right thing. And so if it Take is a post a chance. And now say it is, let me be honest to you. A lot of leaders in the PDP are praying that Peter B can come back and bring the youth oh, to all him right. the party. Interesting. So I know that I, for sure. And you think that I'm telling you leave Labour Party back on. to the PDP? Labour Party Very quickly, can go into a consortium of kind of alliance. All part, that's what all of us are saying. But we are telling our not all members, we won't do any alliance or merger with you or any protest with you until you address that fundamental reason why we left the PDP and started the youth movement, all right. which now split the opposition right. Since you're not a member of the party, 
Listen to me, who's a member. <laughs> Let me tell you what is a member. All right, Dr. Kato, no, no, no. Listen to me, who is a member of the party. Let me tell you how the party. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You are not wearing the shoe. seconds. I am the one wearing the shoe. In 30 seconds. Do you foresee a Peter will be coming back to the PDP based on what he has read? If, for example, the PDP does decide to actually give the South East a chance. Uh, uh, Soma, you don't give power. You don't dash at power. You got power. All right. Yeah, so if P2B, <laughs> the if same P2B, if election, P2B yeah. is ready to run an election on a very strong political platform, let it come in. And contest and with and contest. No, whoever <laughs> the, my brother, 2026 is still far away. Did you hear what he's saying? Uh, right. What he says now is gentlemen. that PDP yeah? should die because if you kill zoning, which is the instrument of inclusion, the party is gone. Just yeah. as if you, you Tinibu can do what he likes. Remember, Tinibu is simply repeating yeah, according but, to but, him. But what, what, what's the role of the governors here? Yeah, what's the role of the governors in 30 seconds as we head into the next meeting? How can they douse tension? The governors are walking behind. What you hear me expressing is actually the voice of the governors. Oh, the governors are, are, are you a spokesman behind. of the governors well, now? Well, <laughs> I am a core party member. Uh, okay. I've taken more risk for my party <laughs> uh, uh, than this gentleman has taken. All Remember, right. I have taken risk for this party. Where were some of these people? Where was Atiku when Osiban just said he would take me to court? Remember that? Uh, all right. I, I have so taken risk to my party. How can the governors help Dow's tension? The party, the, the governors are working behind the scene to see how we can please beg the Northerners to concede these presidencies to the Southeast. Then we can now move to build an alliance to bring people in and rebuild our party. Well. This is one <laughs> thing that we, that's actually what the uh, governors uh, are doing. All right, uh, Kalu. That's very wishful, quickly. That's a wishful thinking. Mm. It's not politics. The little I know about politics, you don't wish things. You move to actualize things. We are doing it already from you the background. You move to actualize things. All right. Well, the, so party, the party should. We are doing should. what I'm telling you oh, now the in party the background. Should. Right. The party should, at some moment, consolidate all the stability the party is enjoying and that's today. Where, that's why I ask, what's the role of the governors? Because it's I mean, to consolidate. The leaders. Okay. To consolidate on the... So to leave Umar Damago there, is, there on the position and the current... At the, moment, at the moment, on the next meeting, let them leave the status quo to remain. All right, Carlo. Carlo is a legal practitioner and uh, he has been helping us to understand the challenges uh, in the People's Democratic Party, Nigeria's major opposition party ahead of the next meeting. And of course, uh, <laughs> Dr. Kacho Nonuju, you. you say you're working and listening to the governors, uh, working with them and listening to them. As exactly. To, and they're working uh, and the one optimism that you have is that Peter, Peter Obi is likely to come back. Movement, listen. What I'm telling you is this. <laughs> it's a wishful thinking. Uh, uh, well, this man is not a wishful thinking. All right, right. Uh, all right catch on. No, no, I will no, tell you as a political strategist <laughs> and uh, policy <laughs> advisor. We must thank you so much for joining us to uh, help us understand the issues in Nigeria's major opposition party. And uh, of course, you're all very optimistic that uh, maybe Peter Obi will leave the Labour Party and get into the PDP. Well, we all watch to see. There's nothing that's impossible in politics.